Hi guys! Hello Matt to Siast! Welcome again sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang Matt ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin is about difference of two squares. O paano ba ifa-factor kung ang given sa inyo ay difference of two squares? Okay, ma madali lang ito kasi may technique tayo kung paano ito ifa-factor. Pero dapat i-make sure nyo muna na ang given talaga ay difference of two squares. Paano ba natin ma-identify na ang given ay difference of two squares. Ano ba yung form niya? Ano ba yung clue natin? Siyempre, tingnan nyo yung given, di ba? Ayan. So, ito yung isang example ng difference of two squares. Kasi, you have two terms na yung first term niya naka-square and then yung last term niya naka-square din or perfect square sila. Ibig sabihin, makukuhanan mo sila ng square root. Kapag makukuhanan mo sila pareho ng square root, okay sila. So, pasok sila. Pero dapat, tingnan nyo muna yung middle term. Dapat yung middle term, since difference tayo, dapat minus siya. Okay? So, eto, pwedeng makuha yung square root. Eto, pwedeng makuha yung square root. Tapos, minus. It means, eto ay difference of two squares. Now, paano ba natin fina-factor? So, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang factors dyan. Parehong binomial. So, unang-unang, kukunin natin yung square root ng first term. Ano ba yung square root ng first term? Kung x squared to, ang square root ng x squared ay x. So, you write here, x and then x. Okay, and then square root ng last term. Ano ba square root ng y squared? Y. Kaya meron kang y and then y. And then simply put positive and negative. Yun na. Ganun lang siya kadali. O, sige nga, tingnan natin. So, ito yung iba't ibang klase ng uh, difference of two squares na gagawin natin as we go on. So, start tayo dito. Factor each of the following completely. So, we have your number 1, x squared minus 64. So, you know, meron kang dalawang factor dyan. O, dalawang factors. Ano ang square root ng first term? x squared. So, you have x and then x. Ano ang square root ng last term? 64. So, dito, mga anak, mahalaga na alam nyo kung paano kumuha ng square root. Okay? Pagkuha ng square root, iisip lang kayo ng number na kapag minultiply mo sa sarili niya, ang lalabas ito, yung 64. Katulad dito, anong number? Pag minultiply mo sa sarili niya, 64 ang lalabas. That's 8 times 8. Kasi 8 times 8, 64. Ulit, pag minultiply sa sarili niya, dapat yung number inside the radicand, yun yung magiging sagot. Okay, so you have here 8 and then 8. Isang positive, isang negative. Oh, that's it. Ganun lang siya kadali. So, may hirapan kayo pag di kayo marunong kumuha ng square root, ha? Kaya galingan. Okay, so we have here y squared minus 121. So, we have here, uh, square root ng y squared is y. Kasi, y times y is y squared. ba? Diba? Pag minultiply sa sarili niya, dapat ito yung makukuha nyo. Okay, how about 121? 11 times 11. Correct. Kasi, 11 times 11 is 121. So, you have here 11 and then 11. So, positive, negative. So, this is it. Okay, how about number 3? 16 minus x squared. So, ano ang factors ng 16? O ano ang number na pag minultiply mo sa sarili niya, 16 ang magiging sagot? Correct. 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So, you will have here, dalawa ulit, isang 4 dito at isang 4 dito. And then, x squared is simply x and x. Kasi x times x is x squared. So, isang plus, isang minus. O, ha? Ganun lang siya. Ha? Huwag matataranta. Siguraduhin nyo lang na difference of two squares yung given para wala nang hirap-hirap. Okay, ano yung square root ng 81? Anong number ang pag minultiply mo sa sarili niya? 81 ang lalabas. 9 times 9. Very good. So, we have there 9 and then 9. How about a squared? A and then a. O, baka malito kayo ha. 9 eto and then a. So, isang positive, isang negative. Okay. Baka nagtataka kayo, ma'am, ma'am, pwede naman negative, time, sorry, negative 9 times negative 9, di ba? Ano din naman yun? Uh, 81 din naman ang lalabas doon. Pero ang kinukuha lang natin, yung principal root, ibig sabihin, yung positive uh, answer. Okay? O how about 25? Ang dali-dali. We have 5 times 5. Correct. 
sorry, correct. Next, say to ma'am, ha? Sorry. Okay, so 5 and 5. So, we have here, since we have x squared dito, syempre, kasama din siya. x and then x. Okay, how about 4? 2 times 2. Diba? Square root nito, and then square root nito. So, we have 2 and then 2. Isang positive, isang negative. Pwedeng magkabaliktad ha, kung gusto nyo una yung negative bago yung positive, okay lang din, ha? Okay, how about number 6? Ano yung number na kapag minultiply mo kay 1, 1 ang sagot kasi square root ng 1 yung kinukuha natin. Meron ba? Meron. Ano? 1 times 1. O, di ibig sabihin, 1 yun. So, you have here 1 and then 1 here. How about square root ng 64y squared? Kanina may given na tayong 64, that's 8 times 8. So, 8 here and then 8 here. Pero may y squared tayo. So, we have y and then y. Isang positive, isang negative. Okay, that's it. Okay, number 7, we have 36 minus 4a squared. So, we have what number when you multiply by itself? The answer is 36. Para makuha natin yung square root ng 36. Correct. 6 times 6. So, we have here 6 and then 6. Okay, how about 4a squared? Pag 4, we have 2 times 2 kasi 2 times 2 is 4. So, 2 and then 2. And then, syempre, a squared is a and then a. So, positive, negative. Ganyan lang siya. Okay, next number. Oops, oops. Bakit bumababa? Ano nangyayari, ha? Okay, number 8. We have 81x raised to 4 minus 64y raised to 6. Tingnan nyo ang mga exponent natin. Hindi na lang siya 2, ha? Kanina yung mga given ko, puro 2. Anong gagawin natin para makuha natin yung factors niyan? Okay, so tingnan muna natin yung number muna, ha? 81. Anong numbers? Pag minut... Anong number pag multiply mo sa sarili niya? 81 ang lalabas. We have 9 and 9. How about x raised to 4? Okay? Pag yung sa exponent ang tinutukoy natin, i-divide lang natin sila sa dalawa. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Kaya, meron ka dito ang x squared and then x squared. Kasi, di ba, pag nag-multiply tayo, ina-add lang naman natin. 2 plus 2, 4. Kaya, tama yung sagot natin. Okay? And then, 64... We have 8 and then 8. Hala, masikip ata dito. Ah, yung isa. Wait lang. Ika. Wait. Uh -huh. So, we have y raised to 6. Ano kaya? Hala, na iba na yung color. Okay, y raised to 6. I-divide mo sa 2. We have y raised to 3. Y raised to 3. So, isang positive, isang negative. Nalito ba? Teka nga. Aha. Kasi magkaiba yung kulay, baka malito kayo. Ayusin lang ni ma'am. Okay, so we have again 9. 9x raised to 2. Kasi ito yon kalahati ng 4 is 2. Minus 8 or plus 8. And then kalahati ng 6 is 3. And then yung isa ganyan din. Kaya lang, minus naman siya. Okay, so this is it. Okay, next, number 9. X raised to 8, Y raised to 8. So, ang coefficient nito ay 1, diba? So, obviously, ang square root niyan ay 1. Pero dahil may variable natin, we do not write. May variable tayo, we do not write na yung 1, ha? So, ano ang square root ng X raised to 8? Ano ginagawa natin sa exponent, diba? Then, divide natin sa 2. So, kung 8 to, magkakaroon ka dito ng X raised to 4. X raised to 4. Dito kay y raised to 8, i-divide ulit natin sa 2, kaya magiging y raised to 4, y raised to 4. Isang positive, isang negative. Okay, that's it. Okay, now sa number 10, o tingnan nyo itong given na to 5x raised to 4 minus a 5. Okay, wala tayong makukuwang square root kay 5, pero upon checking this 2, Pwede natin munang i-apply yung common monomial factoring bago tayo mag-factor para makuha natin yung difference of two squares. Okay? Anong common kay 5 and 5? So, that's a 5. Kung kunin mo si 5, anong matitira sa loob? 
di ba? We have here 5 x raised to 4 divided by 5. Ito yun, divide dito. Ang matitira ay x raised to 4. So, you have your x raised to 4. Okay, and then negative 5 divided by 5, that's negative 1 minus 1. Oh, so, pwede na natin i-factor to Anong factor nila? So, you will have your 5. Okay, dahil, per, ano to? dahil ito ay raised to 4, ibig sabihin, you have to divide 2 para sa exponent. So, x squared and then x squared. Kasi 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then, wa, uh, negative 1, diba? So, minus 1. Ano ang square root ng 1? We have 1. 1. Isang positive, isang negative. Okay, that's it. That's how you get it. Okay, oh, oh, recap lang tayo. Ang kinukuha lang natin ay yung square root ng first term and then square root ng last term. And then, we put positive and negative dun sa dalawa nating factors. And that's it. Ngayon, kung natuto ka at nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, please wag kalimutang pindutin ang like button. And mag-comment ka dyan, ha? Kahit ano, kahit simpleng thank you lang. At wag kalimutang i-share to sa iba para hindi lang naman ikaw ang hindi nahihirapan sa mat. At kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, please wag kalimutang pindutin ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Let's spread the love of mat! Thank you and bye!